Zion and all the the Sorim. Boards of playing Shema Achman Abba Tvochim that they do not have a width of four Tvochim. Go to the Pirush. Zachim Bahen, one can use them for a Schach, Avishem Shupin, even though they are smooth and uh, it looks like they're ready for building. Abayim Anoyach states, points out, <coughs> there was a place to say that since they're, they're, they're smooth, and you can use them, they should make an edict and forbid them because of vessels. It lets us know that since they don't have a width of what tvochim, you may use them for tzrach. If they have what tvochim, then you can't use them. Even if they're raw, they're planks that haven't been smooth. Xero, there's an edict, Shem Yeshev Tachas Atikro, lest he sit under the, the ceiling, and don't think, uh, it's a wooden ceiling and it's a uh, sukkah. And uh, we'll let him use it. Therefore, he's not allowed to do it as an edict. I mean, when Eich says that Rashi is of the opinion that Tikra ceiling is postal in Torah, because sukkah ma'achmona, not his house of a whole year. The Ma'i Mishnah cites the mission sukkah 14a, that you can use boards. These are, that's according to have Yudah. I mean, it says it's forbidden. Rapopin, and Shmuel explained that by boards that have four tvochim, everyone says you can't use them because of a ceiling. Maybe the people will use a ceiling. Less than three tvochim, you can't use them. Like every uh, reed that's less than three tvochim in width. And the question is only between three and four. I may have forbids it, my Yudah permits it, and Allah was like Yudah. And so the Goyim said that Allah was like Yudah, and about Allah is the riff as well. Now, Meshupim, that they're smooth, the Magad Mishnah cites Sukkah, and I was Maimon as he cites Amen Hanan on the Rif, that they have the opinion Kishmuel, even though Aloha is like Rav Be'isur, Be here they say that Aloha is like Shmuel, that it's permitted. Rav Cholik disagrees, because our Papa, why do we say that Aloha is like Shmuel? Because our Papa also said that Aloha is like Shmuel. And also because of the Gemara and Sukkah 15a is like goes according to the ideas of Shmuel. And even though Rav explains what they uh, what they question, uh, we don't rely on the answers. And the Smag and the Rav Yo also say that Allah is like Shmuel and the Yireim says that Allah is like Rav Mamea. You know Rameya Muda, Allah is Rav Yuda. He goes against that rule as well, but he goes according to Rav. But Allah is Rameya in his edicts, and since we just said that the whole reason if it's for Tvochim you can't use it is because of a ceiling. It's an edict and we go to Allah like Ramea. But there's no difference that Ramea is according to according to Rav. This is the opinion Kagyuda Vishmuel. Uh, ultimately, uh, whether we, we pass him like Ramea according to Rav, or Amidul V. Shmuel, the same rule applies for Tvochim, even if it's smooth, is permissible. Tilt for Tvochim. Not on all of Nessa, Echos Yesh Baruch Boi Dalat Tvochim. You place on it one board that has four Tvochim. The rest of the Sukkah, Schach is okay. It's Kshero. It's Kosher, Vein Yeshein Tachlo, but you shouldn't use, sit, sleep under it. By Yoshin Tachlo, the Yotzi Yedech of Osir. And the one who does sleep under it, does not fulfill his obligation. The Magi Mishnah cites the Mishnah in the, in the Sukkot 14, and he adds that this board is only kosher when it's from the side. And the Sukkot has at least three walls. Seven explains that since the, the heavy piece of wood is on the side, therefore it's kosher because Chach Bosel is only if it's Dalad Amis. Less than that, we say that uh, we look at the area that's that's not kosher as a, a wall being bent over until it reaches the schach. And the nesser is considered like part of the wall, but you shouldn't sleep under it because it's a wall. It's supposed to have a schach over your head. Now, if it's Dalad Vochim, it'll be in the middle of the sukkah, the sukkah's possible. Because when a schach that's possible passes for Dalat Tvochim. 
it makes a separation between the walls. So if the whole sukkah is seven tefachim wide and you put something down the middle, a four tefachim apostle, you're out of you, you don't have seven tefachim. Even if it's fifteen wide and you put it down the middle, you won't have seven tefachim on either side. And the Kesem is of the opinion he can pl- explain that he places it in the middle to the width of the sukkah in such a fashion that it remains till the middle section seven tochem and it's not put down the whole length of the sukkah to cut it in half as if there would be only two walls to each side but rather at an angle but he puts it to one side and therefore you have seven tochem with a uh, three walls therefore the rest of the sukkah is also kosher comes to teach us that the side that's by the middle one which is closer uh, to the door even though the beam separates between the schach from one side to the schach from the other side there, and there's only two walls it's kosher for Shabbos to sit there why? because it's like a pestle you ate some nasuke because as we learned in Perik Dalar Aloch Gimel, that once it's a sukkah, you have a sukkah, then even though the, the schach is protruding on one side and only has two walls, since on the other side of that one of the walls it's kosher, this side is kosher as well. But under the nesa, the the board itself. You can go to sleep, and if somebody goes to sleep under it, he doesn't fulfill his obligation. If there were planks, the Ramam continues. So in the Sosom if there were boards that had width of four tvochem, the aim of you and Dalit, but they're not four tvochem thick, and he placed them on their sides, so they're not four tvochem wide, the Sikh of him, and he used them as Chach, and he used it's still possible because and that's not possible because it's four tochen if you would lay it flat and it can be used for ceiling. It doesn't matter which way you lay it down. A four by a two by four if it would be four two by four by four tochen, even if you place it on the two side, it's still uh, not eligible to be used as schach. The Magen Mishnah cites sukkim. If you place it on the and if you place it on the side, avuna oma psula. Avuna says it's possible. And even you know, there are those who disagree, the inclusion of the Gemara is the possible because they are like pieces of metal. And the Riff says that since you place them in the width, they would be possible. Therefore, even if he puts them on the side, uh, they, they them intrinsically are not eligible to be schach. Shulchan says the halacha is you can't use boards that are four tochem wide. Even if you put them on the side, that it doesn't have four. Mr. Brewer adds, and even if they have less than three tochem on the side, it's still possible because they have four tochem. Shoronor continues, and if they're not four tochem wide, even if they are as smooth and they look like vessels, like the prepared uh, vessel, wooden vessels, they still are kosher. The Mishabur adds that even though you can you can sit underneath them, so you can sit on them, and you can put on them things, they're not makabal tumma because he didn't set them for that purpose, and you, you're only usable as building material or to sell, and therefore they are kosher. And also, there's no edict of a ceiling because a person doesn't make a ceiling out of boards. The Antwort for him white. The Machaba cites from the Torah in the name of the Smak <coughs> that you don't use the Schach at all, even though they're kosher, because they're not three to four to him wide. He says, usually you don't use these boards for Schach. And Shabur explains, maybe uh, he'll do it in such a way that rain won't be able to come because you put them too close together. And therefore, you don't do Schach to begin with in this fashion. The Mughan Avram cites the Bach, and there are Rishonim early commentaries to write, Hayoim, it's forbidden to use them, because today, you, that's where you would make a roof, with a ceiling with 
planks that are less than three four, four to four wide. Still, <coughs> the first reason where you don't have a ceiling, where you don't use it for buildings, one should be careful uh, to, that uh, not to cover it in such a way that rain won't come in. And today, we don't use boards, even if they're not four to four wide. The Mishabur concludes, in the name of the Poiskim, if you don't have anything else, you can do them, even if they're four to wide. And so too, anything that's for the Chom forbade, because of an edict, because of an Atar de Schach. However, to make a Brocha, this is Machlokes. And he says to Rajbo that you can even make a Brocha if you have nothing else to use.